Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to give you an uh, update about what is happening on Bitcoin. Is the dump over? Are we going up from here? Or what's next simply? That is what I'm going to answer uh, for you within this video. But before I begin, if you like our content, if you're learning, if you're happy with the content that we're bringing to you each and every day, Please leave a like and subscribe on our YouTube channel and follow us and give us a follow on our social media, right? So let's basically just, let's just dive right into the charts and cover what I'm looking at uh, on Bitcoin currently. So yesterday, obviously we had a move down and it all uh, stems basically, I, I would say, are we in a head and shoulders pattern? What you can see over here is potentially we have a left shoulder, we have a head, and then ultimately we have a right shoulder over here. Personally, I would say it doesn't matter. Why? Because if you trade this, what, where is going to be, does this kind of a pattern, does this give you a trading entry, right? Does this, where should you enter your trade? Where is your trade invalidated and where should you trade it to? If you, if you would literally measure the head and shoulders from up to down all the way to the bottom, then it would simply give you a target of all the way down at literally around below zero. So do you really wanna, uh, do you really wanna be the guy that is trading a pattern um, where the signs are, in my opinion, not even connecting into a head and shoulders or do you wish to learn to trade it differently? That does give you, for example, a, a good case of getting into a trade that is reasonable, sensible, with, with, with a clear place of invalidation and, and a place to, to trade it to, which is not below zero, for example. Um, so having that head and shoulders story a little bit out of the way, we did had a drop yesterday in price, bringing us below $30,000 which is obviously, uh, which was quite a big day. And personally, I love these volatile days uh, where everybody is scared to take trades, um, which can be intimidating. This is where I thrive. This is, this is what I trade. I love the price action. I, I enjoy it. And as a matter of fact, I've prepared for this for a couple of weeks. Ever since we had the big drop in price from uh, $58,000, all the way down to $31,000. This is where I have been preparing for the next move. Of course, I have been trading the range in the meanwhile, because we have been going sideways for about a month. Uh, I have been plotting and planning uh, my next potential good trading setup. And um, did we have that yesterday? That remains yet to be seen as as you simply zoom out from the chart, instead of, for example, looking on the on the five minute time frame, if you zoom out to the higher term time frames, really not that much has changed. As a matter of fact, if you would zoom down into a little bit of a lower term time frame and uh, put, for example, this channel on, which is what I am literally looking at right now, then all that has happened, ultimately, we have swing failure this low of the entire range that we have been building for a month and now we are simply back within the range which is which basically gives us the 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 the, the scenario of what we can look at next but before i dive uh, into that i would really like to remind you if you really like our content uh, i would really really appreciate a like and subscribe and uh, follow on twitter that, that would that would mean the world to me um, so before I continue on over talking about this uh, this channel, or uh, I think it's important to give a little bit of context how we've got there and uh, you know what has been going on. So obviously we have been basically ranging here for about a month uh, month time, and then ultimately we uh, at the time we were looking here at a, at a, at a triangle, um, which gave us the high 
uh, at that time. And um, we basically dropped from there. We put in a low of the triangle at that time. Then we came back up at the highs. Then we had a little bit of a fake out of the triangle, basically swing failure all these highs all the way from the 26th of May. And that started ultimately the decline on which we um, basically fell down. We backtested the midline of the channel, which I shorted as well uh, in the exact uh, top. And that ultimately um, was for the purpose of building the scenario of trading it all the way back down to the bottom of the channel, which now officially is a confirmed channel. Yesterday was a really volatile day. As we were hovering at, at the bottom of this range, um, it, uh, you know, it, a big move was in the cards. And yeah, what can I say? I'm first of all, I just basically want to make a big shout out to all the champions that are studying so hard within the group because we traded it together uh, throughout the day. Um, I was sculpting this and also, um, you know, guiding the champions here uh, as we were progressing throughout the day. As you can see over here, we have, um, you know, I gave some explanations on, on the things that I was looking at and the one that I was do, uh, was about to do. Uh, a lot of people very grateful that it helps them learning and ultimately uh managed to literally catch the almost the exact lows uh throughout the day uh as you can see over here lots of people are really happy a lot of people were uh, shorting shorting the lows and uh yeah it's it's, it's just a, such a great vibe and a great community and it truly it truly makes makes me very very proud to see that people are progressing people are learning and they're learning how to trade on their own uh on their own analysis and that is ultimately really what we are all about we we don't give signals we don't tell you exactly what to do having that said you know uh um, on moves like this it is a great pleasure for me to to uh, to share my knowledge and share my thoughts real time in the moment as it is happening um and all in all that that just makes up for such a brilliant uh community and and um yeah it's, it's just feeling so much better uh to you know to uh to be at work so to speak with uh with other people within a community it's uh, brilliant uh, bless you all i would say uh so basically that gave us uh, back to the charts that gave us uh, the low of the day. Ultimately, we had our drop down. Ultimately, we have swing failure patterns. This low, we're dropping. Um, we had we had an increase in, group, in open we've got interest. Almost we had the an exact increase low. In people uh, aggressively how shorting did we these lows. To do that. Volume well, we coming in at these very lows, order flows upon which uh, we got at the an bottom of reaction, here, we, which we ultimately got a massive follow through of initially ten percent. Um, the intraday levels were given in the chat as well, uh, which we have reclaimed. And uh, that brings us up to where we are at right now. So yesterday was yesterday. Today is a new day, obviously. And what I would say, we are now ultimately simply back within the range. So and I would say to just to just to connect this back a little bit to what I was just talking about, about the head and shoulders. Ultimately, this is uh, what what provides the, the structure of the of the trading day, being able to see things in context and being aware of what what type of trade I'm looking for next and what I'm going to do about that. Uh, ultimately, if you really zoom out, really not that much has changed. Yes, we have had a big move to the downside. And yes, we did have had a big move to the upside. But if you would zoom out on the chart and, and, and see everything in perspective, really not that much has changed because ultimately we are back into the range. And even so, I would say now the actual bottom of the range has been confirmed because now we have a second touch of this channel, which makes this a 100% legit and valid channel with a well-respected midline and and a, and a very clearly defined top of the channel which is what you could be looking for to trade next so really that that is be, uh, ultimately the analysis i would say you know the the bottom of the channel is now in we are now back into the channel and now we have this line serving as support 
This line is serving at resistance, which comes in at $36,000. And then above that, you are going to head into the $40,000 to the $43,000 region. Um, break up from here, then uh, you could be looking more to the upside. Uh, until then, this is the most immediate resistance. So we could have a rise and then a decline again. Uh, we could push through it, we could backtest it and then make our way uh, up towards the channel. Or we can do something like this and not break the channel and backtest this low first before heading uh, heading up. So as you can see, literally in, in less, than, less than 30 seconds, um, I showed already three to four can't remember exactly, maybe five possibilities of what could happen, all based off of a basic price structure. So this channel is the channel that, that I deem the most important right now and potentially for the, for the next few days to come. Um, and with that, basically this video was all about giving you a little bit of an update uh, to, as to uh, what I'm looking at or what, what can be expected from Bitcoin uh, and, and how to go about uh looking at the larger term time frames rather than for example looking at the textbook pattern examples uh build the chart in a different way um such as a channel so uh that is what i quickly wanted to give you an update about ultimately in my opinion we are still ranging sideways on bitcoin and not not that much has changed uh, since yesterday um and with that i would say i would like to wrap up the video if you like uh, the way that we built and construct the chart and if you want to learn how to do this yourself, uh, visit our website, become a champion, come join us, come join the community, it's wonderful. Uh, there's tons and tons of, there's literally hundreds of videos where you can, where you can learn how do you construct a chart like this all by yourself without the help of anyone else and you can make your own decisions based off of your own analysis. Uh, because that is ultimately what we are all about. Thank you for watching. Have a really, really great day. I'm Coach Mike and see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.